I think thinking about word problems as storytelling, I think is very powerful. I think if we can really bring our students into the context via, you know, this idea of a story and really immerse our students in the context so that the mathematics makes sense to the students uh, in ways that are relevant and meaningful to them, I think they're gonna be more interested in the mathematics and the work is more worthwhile because the final result and solution is something that they care about. But when we ask students and we create word problems that are disconnected and not relevant to what their interests are, or what their daily life looks like, then at that point in time, they, they feel like all they're doing is complying as opposed to really critically thinking and analyzing a world that is rich and full of context and numbers and mathematics that we can really be uh, leveraging. providing them those word problems in class, letting them read it aloud. And that's something that I encourage my students to do. And we normally go in a rotation. So if they're sitting in groups and I have a series of word problems, then one student would read it out loud for their entire group. And the read aloud not only helps orient everyone to the context of the problem, but it also allows me to just kind of listen and see if there are students who are struggling with certain words or uh, mispronouncing certain words. And I think the struggles and the mispronunciation might lead them to make assumptions about the context that could potentially steer them um, in a direction that is not related to the math content that we're trying to assess. For me, in the age of AI, I think there's a lot of technology and tools out there that allow us to take text and rewrite them in grade level appropriate language. Being able to use those tools and technology uh, to our advantage as math teachers uh, and say, you know, if I recognize that this student is not reading on grade level, but I still want to assess their math content knowledge, their procedural knowledge, and I don't want their ability to read to serve as a barrier, I think having those conversations with our ELA peers is important, as well as using some of the technology, uh, especially with the AI enhanced technology that, that we have um, as an opportunity to support our kids is an, an avenue to, to making sure that they're ready. I think the first part for me and for any teacher is to really get to know who the students are in that classroom. Uh, I teach at a magnet school and so my students come from all over our district. So the, the context here is a little different in the sense that we're not a local community type of school where there is a very distinct culture in that city or in that town. But if a teacher was located in such a geographical spot, then I think understanding the dynamic of the city, the town, the traditions that take place there, but asking students, you know, what their interests are, uh, what their family and, you know, cultural heritage and traditions might be, and then using that in ways that are authentic, I think are important. So, um, you know, I think it could be done in a variety of ways as far as uh, bringing that into the classroom. Uh, for me, I've got a handful of students that are Vietnamese students uh, or have Southeast Asian heritage. So I try and um, use contexts that are familiar there. A lot of the times I use food as a context. And so if we're going out to a restaurant that's a Vietnamese restaurant or a Thai restaurant um, and you know, you're know you ordering this particular dish, it could be pho, it could be um, banh mi, you know, some of the more popular dishes that not only Vietnamese students might know, but their peers might know, um, I think is an opportunity to expose students to culture while also making those students in the classroom feel seen and visible. You've got a picture of a bowl of pho or a banh mi or a picture of the menu that has the numbers. And now we're, we're taking the scenario that is written in words, but also matched with the picture. I think a lot of our students can relate to those types of contexts, but you can do that independent of knowing your kids.